On this video I'm going to show you how to set slave mode and the slave address on a Megapoints controller's servo controller. My name's Lucy and I've enjoyed making these boards for the past year. Before I show you how to change the mode, let's just go over some of the reasons of why you might want to do this. The servo controller is a sophisticated device capable of operating in different modes, either with directly attached toggle switches or network driven by a DCC module, a mini panel or a multi-panel. Don't forget, each 12 channel servo controller requires a regulated 12 volt power supply and a minimum of 2 amps. This procedure works for all servo controllers bought after September 2018 or on version 1.9 onwards. Let's begin by ensuring the board is connected to a power source and the LEDs are visible to you. If you're unsure of the state of your servo controller, you may wish to review our factory reset procedure from a previous video. Begin by turning the power off and waiting for a few seconds. Firmly hold down the low button and apply power. As soon as you see the light flash, let go of the buttons. Confirm both LEDs flash in an alternate manner for about two seconds. This will confirm the unit is in slave mode. Turning the power off and on again, you'll see both LEDs flash again confirming the unit is in slave mode. We can confirm the address by counting the number of flashes on the channel LED when the unit is powered up. Let's change the network address from 2 to 3. Press the high for about half a second and the unit will increment the network address. Power cycling the board any time will reconfirm the network mode and flash out the network address. Set the network address back to 2. Hold the low button for half a second and watch the unit restart and flash out twice on the channel LED. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.